Greetings everyone and welcome. A couple nights ago, I had a really cool opportunity to go see a former uh, or retired uh, Navy SEAL give a speech. And I was really excited because his uh, speech was based around leadership. So I kind of put two and two together, a former Navy SEAL talking about leadership. I just knew that there was a ton of information that I could gain from listening to uh, Lieutenant Redmond give his speech. So as we got to the event, uh, he did not disappoint, got right to it and started hitting some extremely, extremely valuable points uh, about leadership. And so I was taking as many notes as I possibly could, uh, but he said something that kind of stopped me right in my tracks. I had to put my pen down and really just absorb everything that I was thinking and feeling as he said it. And what he said was that credibility is the currency for leadership. That credibility is the currency for leadership. And I just thought that was completely, completely awesome because all too often, the currency that we make a priority is, is money, currency. And for him to, to say that the currency that is important for leaders is our credibility, our experiences, the things that we do uh, around us in the environment, in our community, our workplace, whatever it may be that our medium is, you know, where we spend most of our time, there is a... Uh, you know, the, the true bank account in that situation is our credibility and the work that we do. And so I started to really think about it and what I could share with you to build on that a little bit further. Uh, it's kind of hard because that's such, like I said, such a valuable piece of information, but I put together some things that I think are really going to help you uh, moving forward. So we're going to get right into it. The first thing that I wanted to mention to you guys is that chances are you are already a leader in some type of way. Um, whether it be personal or professional. A lot of times in our, prof uh, excuse me, our personal lives, and I see this a lot even with the people that I work with, that you know, they say, oh, you know, I'm not a leader, I've never really been that leader type, but they have kids. You know, when we have kids or nieces, nephews, little cousins, whatever it may be, it could be little siblings, you know, we hold a leadership role because they look up to us. You know, there's so many times that I'll want to react to something but I can't because I don't want to show my daughter something different than what I want her to do when she grows up. You know, all too often, uh, especially at the fire station, I'll talk to a lot of my coworkers and they'll kind of reminisce about their days before kids. And then they talk about this huge transition that they had once they had kids. And for me, I contribute that to becoming a leader and holding more of a leadership role as before kind of, you know, just hanging out with your friends and not having that capacity at that point. You know, you might have, but not as a parent. You know, parent is 24 seven for the rest of your life. Um, so that's a lot of times in your personal life. Also in your professional life, if at your workplace, you hold a certain rank or status, or even if you are a veteran and you've been there for a little bit, uh, there's new employees that can come in that you can kind of take under your wing, show them the ropes, teach them something. And in that capacity, you have a leadership role. So I want you to just kind of take a step back, put the, the notion down that you're not a leader and realize that in some way, shape or form, you are a leader just as a lieutenant in the military, for, you know, serving for the Navy SEALs or a firefighter, or police officer, or whatever you see as a credible um, source, all right? So as we think about that, I want to do a little exercise with you to help identify some of the roles and things that you see as credible. So the first thing I want you to do is think of one to maybe three people that you see as credible. You know, so if you're an actor or an actress, chances are you're looking at other actors or actresses or directors. Um, if you are a firefighter, you know, even organizations have um, people that they, that they look up to. You know, a lot of fire departments look up to FDNY and Chicago Fire, uh, Detroit, just because of how many fires that they fight, they implement a lot of tactics, they have a lot of experience, so we're able to learn from their fire tactics. Uh, the department that I happen to work for has a lot of experience in EMS or emergency medical services, where we do a lot of things that are maybe a little bit ahead of the curve on you know, uh, paramedic care and how we can help with you know, cardiac arrest or stroke victims or uh, heart attacks. And then you know, we share all the information that we gain from it with all the other you know, departments that we have around us, as well as across the nation and you know, across other nations as well. So it can be you know, something that's personal or if you're an entrepreneur, you, know, you can look at other businesses and organizations to see what it is that you see as credible and why you kind of idolize 
that person or organization, okay? So after you identify those three people, just ask yourself why, identify those pieces, and then move on to this next part. And this part is where you just get creative and try to have fun with it. Don't make it a chore, don't make it a job, have fun with it. And that's to see how you can be creative and make a shift for you personally in your life to change your currency from you know whatever it is right now. Um, like I said, a lot of times we have money that of course is important, have to have a roof over our head, food on the table to be able to go out and help other people. Um, but it doesn't have to be the center of our attention. You know, all the times that I've run calls, uh, I even spoke with Lieutenant Redmond after his speech, uh, never once during those critical moments is anybody asking about their bank statement or asking about their truck or asking about the stock market. You know, they're absolutely you know, important, but they don't have to be our complete motivation for moving through our lives. So uh, for an example, I'll use myself. Um, you know, working in the fire department, you know, of course, we're a paid department, um, very grateful for that opportunity. But the real currency that, especially the crew that I work with, we try to shift our mindset as well. I should say my whole department. We, we really do an awesome job. I love my department. Um, but anywhere that I work, it's really a priority is on the patient that we run on or the car accident that we go to or the fire that we respond to. You know, as I've mentioned in many videos before, we are absolutely never, I haven't seen it once, where we are on somebody's to-do list for the day. You know, they don't say, let me call 911 today. So, um, you know, in those moments, uh, people are stressing out. They don't want to see us. They don't want us parked in front of their house or pulling up, you know, because they got into an accident. So being able to take them away from that stressful moment where they're feeling everything's going wrong and all these things, we do our absolute best to change our currency to making them feel as well as possible and for us that's you know the ultimate gratification is being able to take someone that's crying stressing to making them laugh and kind of you know relax that that super stressed uh environment so think about the person that you look up to find out why really come down with some solid ones that you can really chase after that you can set as goals and then figure out you know ways to get creative with it um, and then, you know, to end this video, I just want to ask you this important question. What currency are you making a priority in your life? So I want you to think about it. Please add it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, if you like this video, just do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, just hit the red button, subscribe for the channel. We have a lot more content coming out. I'm getting really excited for it. Ebook's going to be out any day now. Uh, the head course is coming together awesome. We're going to be building some solid foundations, helping ourselves uh, develop as people so then we can move out and help as many people as possible uh, in whatever capacity you feel. Um, so look forward to all of that stuff. Uh, as always, I appreciate your time. That's all the time I'm going to take for today. So until next time, guys, I'm Jonathan, and I'm signing out. Peace.